Hello everybody. Recently I recorded a three part series where I repaired three Razor electric scooters that were in various states of disrepair, where each scooter had their own unique problems to solve. On the first scooter, one of the issues that I encountered was that the standard Razor scooter charger would not charge the batteries and simply indicated that the batteries were fully charged. Because the Razor scooter charger would not charge the batteries, I removed the two 12 volt sealed lead acid batteries from the scooter and individually reconditioned them using my CTEC MXS 5.0 battery charger. The CTEC MXS 5.0 battery charger is an 8 step 5 amp charger with the added functionality of the recondition mode, which I successfully used to recondition both batteries. For those that are interested, you can view the entire first part of the Razor Revival series by clicking the following link. However, if you want to instantly see how I use the CTEC MXS 5.0 battery charger to recondition these batteries, then this video jumps straight to the solution for you. As you can see, initially I was trying to charge the Razor electric scooter with the standard Razor charger which in this video you can see I had plugged in, clearly switched on and plugged into the Razor electric scooter. However, as I'm about to show you here, the uh, indicator light there was shining green and that from the Razor scooter shows that it's fully charged and when I went to switch it on, the scooter simply would not run. It even appears to switch on. Yeah, it seems to come on, but oh, it's just, uh, just like nothing there. She's just dead. So. I removed the batteries out of the scooter and took them inside to charge. I've got the, the 12 volt battery here out of the Razor electric scooter. The one that was shining was fully charged, but it was clearly dead. And I uh, brought it inside out of the weather. And I've got my uh, CTEC charger here. And what I'm gonna try to do is uh, see if I can uh, run this in the recon mode. So the recon mode here on the charger. Uh, we're supposed to remove the sulfates from the plates and see if we can get it back up a charge. First of all, I thought I'd actually test the voltage on this. So I've got my multimeter here, it's set on DC. And I'm just gonna test the uh, test the charge, test the voltage that's actually currently sitting in that battery. So come across here, got the leads on. And you see it's currently sitting there at 11.999 there. So what I'm gonna do now is drop the leads on the on the battery there. It's got the, the negative there, chuck the negative on. Positive, chuck the positive on there. Oh, it's got one under. All right, it's got the positive on. Got the negative on, you can see that in there. Got the charger here, so just pop that on. All right, now what I want to do is chuck it in bike mode. You just kind of keep pressing this. So I've got that in bike mode and I've got that in recon mode. So that's actually going to put this through a charging cycle, which then actually, um, with these CTEC chargers, it'll put it through a, a cycle of charge and discharge, rapid charges and rapid discharges, which actually um, tries to recondition that battery. And I'll see how we go with this. Uh, I'll come back probably about an hour or so and check on and see how it's going. Come back to check on the progress of the recon cycle using the CTEC charger on my uh, 12 volt battery out of the Razor scooter. And as you can see here, um, clearly it's still on the uh, the uh, recon mode, that's number six, got the manual here. And you can see uh, number six is there, the recon mode. So it's been going for about three hours now, so it's quite interesting. It's obviously taking whatever it's doing there, CTEC's taking quite a while. So I'm just gonna leave that go. Um, don't really care how long it takes. It'd be interesting if we can actually get some life back into these uh, batteries. So yeah, it's been about three hours so far. I'll check back in on the progress. Um, keep you guys posted as to uh, how it goes. Right, so this CTEC charger has been going. It's been going for literally, I don't know, six or seven hours. Finally, it's gone through that, uh, through that cycle of reconditioning. And you can see that green light has gone I'm on which correlates to um, really to stage seven, which is float, which is really when it's finished charging there. So um, let's let's just test this voltage now. Got the multi here, meter here again. 
turbos blades. Let me just you know, switch that on there. And take this off. Chuck this on here. Just that on there. Oh wow, look at that, we're up to 13.6 no, 13.72 volts there, so. The Razor electric scooter actually has two 12 volt batteries. So I then repeated the exact same process for the second battery. Once the two batteries were rejuvenated, I then installed them back into the scooter. So after a bit of a ride in the Razor, She's still got um, a bit of charge in it. It's not completely flat, but I thought I'd just pop it on the charger and just see, see if it'll actually take charge now into these batteries that have been rejuvenated with that C-Tech charger. And I've just popped it on, and as you can see here, unlike previously, when that status light went green straight away, the status light's actually on red. And I'm pretty excited about that, because I reckon the red means it's actually charging now. So I'm gonna leave that. See how long it takes, leave it on the charger there. Um, I'd say probably about, maybe about an hour or so. I'll come back and have a look and see if that light's gone green. And um, yeah, see how it runs then. As you have seen, I managed to recondition two 12 volt sealed lead acid batteries with my SeaTech MXS 5.0 battery charger. Furthermore, the batteries have been fully discharged by riding the Razor scooter for around 45 minutes and then recharge with the standard Razor charger a number of times now. If you thought this video was useful to you, I would really appreciate your feedback. So please feel free to like it below, leave a comment and share it. In the future, I intend to produce other specific Razor how-to videos on how to fix other specific problems. So if you're interested, feel free to subscribe to my channel for new content. Finally, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this solution was actually part of a Razor Revival three-part series where I repaired three Razor electric scooters that were in various states of disrepair. If you haven't yet seen this series and are interested, you can follow the link to the Razor Revival series.